Mrs. Creations here. Today I'm going to show you how to transform a clothespin. I normally use clothespins for the baby shower game, Don't Cross Your Legs or Don't Say Baby. Um, if you cross your legs or you say baby, someone catches you, they can take the clothespin from you. And whoever has the most clothespins at the end of the afternoon wins a prize. I've also used them to clip photos on ribbon or twine during Christmas to um, hang photos. Uh, this has glitter on it already. Don't mind that. I was trying something else, but I'm going to show you one that's really glittery. It's really pretty. Today I'm using the Mod Podge with gloss. The gloss really isn't um, relevant in this case unless you're going to do a last layer of Mod Podge over the clothespin, which you can do. I didn't do. I like the rough look. Um, I also use fine glitter. It doesn't have to be Martha Stewart. I personally like the fine glitter because of the end result that it gives me. I'm also using a brush, nothing fancy. Some people use sponges. I personally don't like sponges because they soak up either the paint or Mod Podge way too much. Maybe you're asking yourself, well, why not just use glue? The Mod Podge dries a lot faster. It also adheres to anything you're using um, much better than glue. A glue usually just scrapes right off. Uh, it cakes off. So I just use a regular wooden clothespin. I dip my brush in Mod Podge. Now when you do this, you want to just work one half of a pin at a time because you need to be able to lay it down on one side. So let's see if you can see me better. Take this out of the way so we can focus. Okay, so you want to get into all the grooves and creases again, just only one half of it. Don't you don't want to pass this line right here, um, it'll tend to stick too much, and you'll have a hard time opening the clothespin. All right, great. And I already have a little plate set up with glitter. I don't dip the clothespin in the glitter, reason being because the Mod Podge gets into the glitter and you get little balls of glitter forming and it doesn't stay loose. And I normally don't use a lot of glitter. All this excess glitter is going to go right back into my bottle. So I just um, pour over it. And, and I'm being very generous so it gets all the areas I tap the back of it make sure all that excess glitter is off and I'm gonna let this dry for about 20 minutes doesn't take too long but I still wanna let it set you want to let it dry on the side that doesn't have any Mod Podge, any glitter. Otherwise, this can scrape off when you set it down. And I already have one started here, as you could see. Um, I'm just going to rub off any excess glitter that's on there, but it's pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty on there. Hasn't been sitting there for too long. Like I said, just about 20 minutes. Um, and now I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to open it first because I hardly cross the line and it's still stuck uh, together. So I want to make sure to open it so the next layer of Mod Podge I put, I don't even make it harder for myself to open it later on. And get into all the creases.
Now you see um, the inside part right here. I'm not putting any Mod Podge or glitter in that. You can choose to do so later if you want to. I didn't think it was necessary. Um, but definitely on the outside, inside, oopsie, right here. Okay. So I'm definitely covering the clothespin, like I said, but not, you don't want like an excess amount of Mod Podge because it won't dry well. And covering it with my glitter. Mixing. I missed a spot. All right. Awesome. Again, I'm going to tap it on this. Um, side that's already dry and lay it on the side that's already dry. So let me show you what a finished one looks like. It's all nice and dry. It's super glittery. I love it. Um, I'm so in love with it. I'm going to add a paper flower to it. Let's see if I can focus. There we go. So I made these paper flowers, um, I put a pearl in the middle, I'm just going to glue it right there. And there we go. So there you have it folks, um, like I said, I really like it, you can use it for a bunch of different things, um, in this case I'm going to use it um, for the baby shower game, um, people want to take it home, they could take it home, there's ribbon that also says like it's a girl on it, so if you want to make a little bow and put um, it's a girl on here, I've done that before too, um, going for like a little shabby chic um, look, so I wanted to keep it, um, I didn't want words on it, but um, that's about it. Please comment, let me know what you think, um, share with me your creations, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.